Yes, um, full credit to Kentucky. Um, like I told you guys on Monday, Monday or Tuesday, whenever we had that presser um, last time, is um, they play really, really hard. Uh, Matthew's done a great, great job with this team of his, and um, you know it, it, it. It's a full credit to them on getting the win, but at the end of the day, it's just, it's it's who we are right now. We don't get stops, and um, just told the team after the game that we had 24 assists on 26 made shots. Um, we shot 44% from the field, 45% from the free throw line. Um, you know, you went to the line, you made nine of 13, which is not bad. Offensive production and, and what we're doing offensively and all that is working. You go back to the Alabama game. You go back to all these games where we're scoring points. We don't get stops, and that's what's got to change. We've got to start getting stops. We've got to start uh, making the plays and, and, and getting stops when we need to get stops. And, and, and instead of fouling people and putting them on the free throw line, instead of just letting, letting them in the first half shoot 60 70, or 70% from the field, um, that's that's on us and, and, and our defensive intensity and our attention to detail defensively, and that's got to change if, if we're going to make any kind of push over the next week or it, the season's going to be over. Uh, that's something y'all can, y'all can change in your scouting of teams? Or yeah, I mean, we, we, we've we changed it. We, we've played 2-3 zone. We've played a 1-2-2 two, two zone. We've played a 1-2-2 two, two trap. We've played man-to-man. We've played pack line. We've played pressure. We, we, we've we tried everything, and eventually it, it's got to come down to – that that we've got to pay attention to every little detail, and we're not going to stop working on it. We're that's something that we work on. We work on defense probably 85 to 90 percent of every practice, and because we're we're just not equipped yet in terms of mentally to get stops, and we're pushing them every day to get those stops. But until we get them, it's just going to it, you know these results happen. You score 71 points in the league game, you should win the game at home. If you get stops, you shoot 10 of 22 from the three, you should win the game. If you get stops, we don't get stops. You all didn't have that one back quarter. You played well throughout. What was Kentucky able to kind of do when y'all would make those runs to, to, to create what you You know, we, we, we scored the ball. I mean, we, we the second quarter we go 25 – they go 25-13. Um, that, again, that results back to us getting stops. And, um, you know, they, they go 9 of 11 in the second quarter, and several of those were uncontested. I talked to them at halftime. I was like, yeah, we're backing up and letting shooters shoot. We're playing a shooter as a driver. I mean, in the scouting report that we worked on for two days, that we talked about for two days, is that kid's going to shoot it, that kid's going to drive it. You know, you know the difference in the kids, but when we get in a game and it's like we forget every bit of it. And, um, you know, and so at halftime you have to remind them, third quarter we were better, fourth quarter we were better, but if you get outscored 25-13 in a quarter, you know, we, our offense ain't the problem. A lot of times people are like, oh, our offensive woes, and this quarter you didn't score as much. Look, we're scoring 60-plus, 70-plus points in games in SEC play. You should, you should win the game. Um, but we've got it. We've got to get stops. And but as a staff, as a head coach, I take full responsibility of that. That um, you know, I'm, we're working on it eighty to ninety percent of practice, and maybe we got to start working on a hundred percent. And uh, but we're going to keep working on it and just not give in. And maybe we'll get a stop uh, at, on Sunday, and that's that's the plan. But and it's not just one. Like we'll get two people playing hard defensively, and then three kind of taking that play off. Well, that exposes us. Sometimes we get four going at it pretty hard, and you'll get one taking a playoff. Well, that one gives gives up something, and you know those are the things that we're working on. That, hey, look, you know, we, you know, it's just simple defensive fundamentals that we've got to be better at. One more game at Auburn Sunday yeah. before you head to Nashville. Just kind of what's what's the mindset? You know, it obviously, it hasn't been the season that we want to have. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it's been a terrific season and, and everything's great. Um, we've got to be better. Um, we've had a lot of um, injuries. We've had a lot of things like that, but that's no excuse. We got to play, and we, you know, our mindset is going into it is we're going to make a run in the tournament. We're not going to quit. We're going to keep playing, and I'm, I'm proud of our players for that. They've, they've continued to play, but um, we've got to make a, a, a constant emphasis. We got to continue to emphasize getting stops defensively, and um, until we become a team that gets stops, and it's it's a new thing for me because that's usually where my teams are really good is on the defensive end, where this team has not been. And um, that's something that um, that's kind of puzzling. And so um, we've tried a lot of things. We're going to go back to the drawing board tomorrow and try something else. And we're just going to keep trying things to maybe something fix or something sticks for a game or two. And then it has every now and then. But it goes all the way back to non-conference. We're giving up 90 points to Troy. We're giving up 70-something to South Alabama. So it's not just a thing that started now. It's something we've been working on for the whole year that we've got to be better defensively and we'll continue to work on it. Is there a word you can describe as second half of the season? Up. It's tough. It's really tough. I'll be honest with you. Um, um, when you when you're not winning, 
it's tough. It's tough on everybody. It's tough on our. It's frustrating for our players. It's frustrating for our coaches. It's frustrating for our fans. It's frustrating for everybody because th- that's not what we're about, um, you know. And and there's no. It's, I'm not a coach that's going to sit up here and say, "Oh, I get this all the time for people." Oh, if you had Sesame, well, I know. If we had Sesame, but we don't. We don't. There's no excuse for it. We've got to be better. And and um, our t- our team, I tell them that too. We got to hold each. Other, we got to hold ourselves accountable, each one of us individually for this and we got to make sure it never happens again and um, you know it's very frustrating I'll be honest with you extremely frustrating for all parties for our fans for our players and our coaches and that's the one thing I'll say is our coaches and players are frustrated but we, we're not quitting and we're going to keep going and, and we're going to try to figure this thing out. Went down. Did you foresee that I may struggle a little bit not to this extent? Oh yeah I knew, we, I knew when she went down that we were going to have some struggles um, but you know we, 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 we've lost some games late in games um, we've had some We've had a lot of adversity, um, you know. You know, I talked about her, and I'll tell you about her. I told him the people out there, she's um, our best offense. It's one of our top two offensive players, one of our, if not our best defensive players. She's the best rebounder on our team. She's our senior leader, and she's our closer. And so you're talk- you go back to an Arkansas one point loss, or an Alabama, or or Florida at Florida. You go back to those games. That's your closer, you know. Um, you know, the, the, the season totally looks 100% different if your closer's in there. It's like um, um, the Yankees and um, Rivera. If Rivera, is that what was his name, Mario Marion or Rivera, whatever. If he don't come out of the bullpen in all those World Series, my Braves have won a lot more World Series. Um, but he comes out and shut us down. And that's what your closer is, and that's what Sesame is for us. She's our closer. And so, you know, it's 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 tough, but – you got to get back on the horse tomorrow and ride again. And look, we, we're representing Ole Miss, and these kids are going to work hard, continue to represent Ole Miss. And and um, I love every single one of them dearly. And I think that at some point something special is going to happen to this team. I know it is. And it may be Sunday, it may be next Wednesday, but there, there's going to be something special happen to this team, and they're going to grow from this and get better from it and be a better basketball team and better basketball players as we move forward. Thank you. Thank you.